सो है गाइज वेलकम बैक टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ द चैटर बॉक्स वेयर आई टॉक अबाउट यू नो जस्ट चिल स्टफ इज जस्ट बेसिकली चिल कॉमेंट्री अबाउट स्टफ लाइक वीडियो गेम्स मूवीज टी वी शोज एंड स्टफ लाइक दैट एंड टूडे इज टॉपिक इज अबाउट गेम ऑफ थ्रोन्स सीजन एट एंड आई एम सीरियसली सो हाई फॉर सीजन एट गाइज इट इट लिटरली जस्ट स्टार्ट टमोरो एंड इट्स इन सेन यू नो आई बिन वेरिंग इट फॉर नियरली टू ईयर्स नाउ एंड you know amazing you know how long i've been waiting it waiting for game of thrones season 8 and i just want to talk about you know what i think what's going to happen in season 8 like my theories and my thoughts on you know uh what's like after game of thrones and you know stuff like that like basically talking about game of thrones season 8 my theories my speculation my thoughts and everything so yeah let's get on with this chill commentary or chatter box so yeah so uh like literally uh game of thrones season 8 just starts tomorrow which is insane you know i it just starts tomorrow uh, episode 1 and i think with you know the starting of season 8 will be obviously everyone arriving at winterfell john daenerys you know so that was everyone just arriving in winterfell daenerys comes with the dragons and we see that in the trailer as well arya seeing the dragons and being happy and yeah i think that's going to what's going to happen in episode 1 everyone is just meeting and maybe the episode just might end with uh, you know jamie showing up and uh, jamie showing up in winterfell and then everyone is kind of like not trusting him at all you want to just like you know they don't trust him because obviously he's lannister but obviously i think episode 2 might be you know the like uh him convincing the people uh, daenerys and everyone that They're like yes i need i want to fight with you and yeah basically that's basically episode 1 will maybe just be like not be such a heavy episode it will just be you know them them arriving in winterfell you know just a couple of scenes here and there talking about stuff then maybe we might also get more about theon and you know how is he going to rescue yara and stuff like that and uh, yeah but i mean there's a lot of theories about how the show is going to end and uh, I mean there are a lot of theories as search of in the internet I don't even have my own theories but there are a lot of theories there's one theory where uh there's Az- Azor Azai who who might be who might come and lead them uh, lead the people to victory uh and Azor Azai people speculate that that might be Jora cuz since Jora is like the Jora is you know he truly loves Daenerys he has to like kill her and then become Azor Ahai or something like that uh there's a lot of theories about Azor Ahai and it's like a really in the books it's something like that uh but I don't read the books as I haven't read the books I must actually but I I haven't really read the books so I don't know there's a lot of theories and speculation and you know in the end what you know what like you know in the end like literally everyone could literally die literally <laughs> like no one survives the ending you know you could you know you never know but they say it's a better sweet ending so i'm guessing it most likely might be you know i'm pretty sure like john and daenerys will pretty much i'm pretty sure daenerys will die uh and john will def i think john will survive there's no point killing off john cuz it doesn't make any sense they'll get rid of john like in season 8 cuz he's been the most important character all along and If they just get rid of him in season eight, that wouldn't make sense. I think John will live. Daenerys will die, I guess. Or she might just join the night, the, the army of the dead, and uh, John has to kill her, and then he has to go kill the Night King. Because obviously, I'm pretty sure John is going to kill the Night King. Because it's it's been leading up to all this, and John has to just John has to do it, you know. And uh, yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure a lot a lot of characters will die, like Jaime will. most likely die i'm pretty sure i'm not pretty sure but like i'm quite sure he will die um and uh, i think sandra clegane will die beg and darian will die a lot of characters will die i have i have feeling like a lot of characters will die and uh, jamie might die just you know fighting the army of the dead and you know just uh, you know in one of the episodes he said you know how am i going to die you know like uh, uh brian asked him how would he like to die and he says in the arms of the woman i love and it's like it's so good you know he will like die in brian's arms you know in barrow and that'll be 
that would be you know so good like i mean obviously it'd be sad he dies but it would be so good you know it's just that poetic justice to it so yeah and then there's also that there's also another theory of how the show could end and how Cersei can die uh they're like there's prophecies you know of you know, how Cersei, you know all her three kids are there and she'll be murdered by her younger brother well it her younger brother cannot be Tyrion because Tyrion is just too busy with you know being hand of the queen for Daenerys and stuff so I have a feeling that Jaime will kill Cersei and I'm not talking Jaime it's Arya who's actually wearing Jaime's masks mask and he kills Cersei and that's quite a good theory to be honest because like it'll it'll like it'll cross out Arya's last name on the list and it'll also be you know poetic justice you know like uh you know like she will the prophecy comes true and she dies with the hand of her younger brother well that makes the most sense really and that's quite a cool theory and i like that as well there's a lot of theories out there there also you know many theories that who's going to end up on the throne and many people say it's going to be gendry since he's the barat he's a he's a true baratheon child because uh Cersei does have a child uh Cersei Gendry is uh Robert's and uh, Cersei's only child I think only true child and people say that Gendry might end up on the throne you know and then John might just lead him he might become you know and I'll just start building the beginning of the show with the Baratheon on the throne and I start leading him so that will make a lot of sense in that regard that you know how it's going to be like but I don't know it, it I don't know I I don't know how would I feel about that like Gendry ending up on the throne even though he's been really treated as a much of a side character throughout the whole show he like he appears for a few seasons few seasons uh but it doesn't make sense for Gendry to really end up on the throne to be honest but who knows he might actually do might but who knows he, who knows he might even die in the battle so i don't know it's the another theory then obviously there's loads of theories out there there is obviously the theory where like you know obviously everyone dies and then sam is just narrating the story to his son like little sam and like just narrating the story to little sam and they're just you know writing this it's he wrote that book and he's narrating the story and basically yeah that's how it ends and everyone is just basically dead but that doesn't make sense i don't think everyone will die it'd be a bitter sweet ending so for everyone to die it's really unlikely i feel like if it's a bitter sweet ending i feel like the jamie theory is the most like the thing that will most likely be the thing cuz you know it's kind of like all the characters are kind of dead but also you know it's like in the end the villain doesn't win at all also it's like sergey just dies and this is then tyrion and tyrion just becomes hand of the king or whatever or who knows what could anything could happen really and the arya just lives there so, i mean there are a lot of theories supporting there there's also theories that arya will kill sergey obviously that makes sense for arya to kill sergey but there's theories that arya will die too because uh, once arya sergey like arya goes in for the kill and kills sergey then the, she uses uh, like she blows up the whole castle using the well, the the one the explosive she used to blow up the sept of baylor or whatever and uh, i that would be cool i guess but i don't want arya dead i mean to be honest i feel like none of the starks will die in the end like i don't think so i don't think uh, sansa bran or like that will die and talking about bran there's this ridiculous theory that people thinking that bran is the night king which is insane like how is it possible it doesn't make any sense whatsoever how can bran be the night king it doesn't make any sense whatsoever people say you know when he went back in time he wore into he was seeing you know how the white walkers were being created and he wore accidentally wore uh wore into it like went into his body and then he just to get turned into a night king but that doesn't make any sense as a ridiculous theory uh, and i don't think that's the case at least that's what i think and yeah you also see in you know arya running around in the trailer is running around from something and you know there's running around in the winterfell you know running from something very scared and i have a feeling you know the the night king the night king you know he can like you know uh he can like you know 
raise people back from the dead like you know uh and uh, basically get people back from the dead and uh, basically that would happen is that uh, all the people the starks that are in the in the sept in the winterfell the the underground winterfell sept or whatever where all the all the starks are what he might do is he might resurrect them and uh, they're back from the dead and they're chasing arya and that's what's scaring her and, you know she might be some scary shit like you know catelyn stark for chasing her because she's you know like in the dead now and maybe a headless ned stark chasing her and that's for sure pretty creepy shit and that would kind of make sense of if she is if she is being chased by them and for her to be scared because arya has been like pretty badass and for her to be scared of these things obviously she'll obviously be scared if this something like this happens to her which makes sense of why she's running around in uh, in the winterfell in in see in the trailers so yeah there's like a lot of theories about it you know and uh, yeah i mean the battle of like the battle between the dead and stuff is said to be the longest battle actually and i have and that would be i think episode 3 season 8 episode 3 and that's said to be like the longest battle in game of thrones history or any battle to be honest so i'm guessing the whole episode will just be the battle between the people between the uh, the living and the dead and that would be really you know that would be a really cool battle to see i'm really looking forward to it. that's like the most anticipated thing i want to see in season 8 it would be cool you know and obviously we will probably so also see john riding the dragon uh, along with daenerys and that would be epic as well and it's just like i don't know how will i let this show go to be honest cuz it's such a good show and you know it ending now it, i just feel kind of sad really you know uh just i've been i mean first at first i wasn't really such a big fan of the show i just didn't give a shit about this show but you know after you know for my own cu- curiosity i basically just went in and just uh, you know just you know just uh, like just saw it and it was amazing you know and i just love it and i just just can't say goodbye to this show to be honest i mean just so sad it's ending man like literally it's it's been a wild ride you know for game of thrones and uh, i just cannot say goodbye to this show and uh, man so i'm going to miss this show a lot and there's going to be a lot of you know like i mean there's definitely prequel shows planned but people's much of the shows have been canceled but there is one or two prequel shows planned but i'm not sure that that might be the case cuz now the guys who have made game of thrones um david benioff or whatever he is kind of, they are kind of busy now with star wars making a star wars show so i have a feeling that will not that they might not make the prequel show anymore that might get delayed i might be after that star wars show so i have a feeling the prequel game of thrones show most likely will just not be there for a while like we will not see it for a while uh, but yeah i'm excited for you know david ben benioff's next project like you know uh just a star wars tv show or whatever and it's going to be epic you know and i can't wait uh and game of thrones is just you know it's, i like i just can't say goodbye to it you know i'll miss it um but yeah like especially you know with so much shit happening in season 8 they it has to be good you know like it has to be i mean honestly speaking uh i don't know it i have i'm pretty worried that it's going to get rushed quite a lot because it's just six episodes you know just six episodes and uh, yeah like how can they wrap up the whole show in just six episodes and that's something really concerning but with the episode lens i sure they could do it because you know the first uh first one or two episodes are like an hour long and the last four episodes are like an hour 20 minutes long uh so Yeah, I, I bet they can do it. The last four episodes are pretty long, so yeah, I hope they could do it. And I think the last three episodes will just be pure conclusion of the whole story. You know, the first, the first two, three episodes, you know, will be like the you know the build up to the battle, and the third episode will be about the battle between the dead, the army of the dead, and then the last three episodes will be basically the conclusion of the whole story. You know, 
like uh, what's gonna happen you know then trying to get Cersei what she's gonna do who knows there's a lot of theories out there there are also theories that Tyrion will uh, turn tails and he will probably just join uh, Cersei or whatever there's a lot of theories out there some of them are ridiculous some of them are legit and I just I just love it you know I just I love theorizing about things but I don't like getting too deep into theories because what if the if the theory turns out to be true then there's no fun part in it you know you don't really enjoy it as much you know you want it to be as much as a surprise as possible so that's the thing if if one of the theories does turn out to be correct then you won't really enjoy it because you know what will happen and that'll kind of ruin the suspense you know but you know there's a lot of theories and uh, i just can't wait to see how this show ends you know with uh, all the characters how they wrap this up and uh, it's just one of them you know april is such a big month in terms of tv shows movies like game of thrones season 8 end game like man there's so much shit this month that like i just cannot contain my excitement game of thrones season 8 literally comes out tomorrow and it's just gonna be amazing you know i just can't wait if i have time maybe maybe if i have time i might just make another chatterbox video talking about just basically reviewing season 8 and talking about what i thought of it uh but really i think it's just i just it's, it's gonna be epic you know i just can't wait till season eight it's just a day 24 hours which is literally insane and uh, yeah i hope it's good enough um uh, but hope you guys enjoyed this kind of little bit of a game of thrones season eight theories talk and uh, yeah i hope you guys enjoy it. and uh, are you guys looking forward to game of thrones season eight or do you just not watch Game of Thrones at all? Just say in, just comment down on the comments below that what do you think of how the show is gonna end? What do you guys think? How you know how the show is gonna end? What do you feel about it? And yeah, but but Game of Thrones has been great, and I'm gonna miss it after season eight, like after it ends. And uh, yeah, but anyways, it's time to wrap wrap this up. So hope you guys enjoyed this another Charabox video. Uh, like and subscribe if you did and uh, hope you guys you know have enjoyed some of the theories that i put on you know talked about and there's a lot of interesting theories out there you can literally go search the internet up for them that's what i did so i got these theories to talk about and yeah but anyways hope you guys enjoyed uh, like and subscribe if you did and uh, most likely the next chat box will be you know avengers endgame like before that i'm gonna talk about theories and stuff you know what's gonna happen so it's gonna be most likely before endgame comes out i'm gonna try to get it out before endgame comes out or i most likely might just make a video talking about you know my endgame review like reviewing endgame and you know what did i felt of it uh, same with game of Thrones season 8 once it stops airing once it's finished then i'll also do a video reviewing it like another chat box video because i don't want it to be a proper review because I'm a bit of a lazy fuck to be honest, but uh, yeah, I'll most likely will make a review video. It'll be most likely just another chat box video, just me, you know, discussing you know what I felt about Endgame, what I felt about you know like Game of Thrones season eight, and what I'm also thinking of is you know starting a podcast. You know, it's like like this kind of is really a very podcast style video, and I would love to do a podcast. But the thing is, for podcast, you need you know people to talk to. You know, I just cannot talk to my viewers alone you know i need people to talk to so if if i could get people to come into my podcast and can chill talk about anything you want that would be great but yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video like and subscribe if you did and uh, keep subscribing keep showing the love and i'll try my best to upload more so anyways hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you in the next video so yeah bye